Howdy folks, welcome to Kerbal Space Program 2. We're going to take a quick look today, probably do a suborbital flight. Um, special shout out to Private Division for sending me a key to review this. Uh, even though I did get it for free, I'll definitely be giving my honest opinion. Uh, my quick overview after doing one suborbital flight is it looks pretty good, but there's a lot missing and the performance is really, really bad. Now my system, I could run Star Citizen, Arma 3, that kind of stuff really well. Uh, all the specs are on the about page of my channel, but I've got an i9-9900 and uh, an RTX 2080 Ti. So not the top of the line system for sure, uh, but still pretty much a beast of a PC that runs you know, very demanding games well. Uh, and it's barely above the minimum specs for this game. Now I'm hoping that they'll optimize this in the years to come and the minimum specs will go down a lot. One of the upsides of the original Kerbal Space Program is it would run on you know fairly moderate hardware. But uh, yeah, I get pretty terrible performance and there's zero difference in FPS between low settings and high settings. So that tells me there's a lot of optimization left to do. But it does look good. So let's hop into the vehicle assembly building. And we'll take a look at my first rocket here that I made. So you can see the interface has changed quite a bit. And there's no progression, there's no science or anything yet. So you've got just all the parts right off the bat. We load up. Oh boy. Uh, where's mine? <laughs> I saved it. New workspace, maybe? I mean, I gave it a name. Yeah, okay, there it is. Skipper 1. So the save and load system is completely different. There you go. I didn't realize that yet. So this was just a little uh, rocket I put together just to get up into space. Uh, so let's go launch that thing. Um, the transitions are pretty quick. Uh, I will give it that. And I don't have this on an SSD. This is on a regular spinning disk. See, we're here on the pad. And the frame rate is pretty chunky, but man, it looks good. It does look really good. Uh, so we've got Bob Kerman here. Most of this stuff's pretty familiar. It just, it's got a new polished look. Uh, but there are some changes. Like you've got the fuel over here in the actual staging. Uh, when you press go. We actually get a countdown. And of course, you can skip that countdown if you want. Here we go. Woo! <laughs> that smoke looks cool, but it always pups the smoke out like no matter what happens. So, Let's see, we are we are blasting off into space in quite a hurry. We've got our uh, SAS on. And there's also really good tutorials. Like if you're brand new to this, the tutorials will walk you through every little step. So that's nice to see. You see here, we can we can actually zoom out quite a bit. Some nice volumetric clouds. Fortunately, F12 for screenshot also brings up an overlay, so. I get two screenshots every time I hit F12. <laughs> uh, one cool new thing is the the blast cone or whatever you want to call this actually expands as the atmospheric pressure goes down. So that's kind of neat. Start edging over here. If I double. I double click on that. There we go. That resets the view. You can see the, the sound is going down as well as we get up into space. And I did not do a, a very good orbital insertion or anything. We're just going for uh, maximum altitude. So our Apo apps 
726,000 meters. <laughs> We're way up there, but that's okay. I wanted to show off like the time warp and stuff. So here we are, we're gonna go for separation on our staging here. You can see we're going to uh, blow the separation connector and then uh, the two parachutes side will be armed. There we go. So we're gonna be drifting away from that. And then I'm gonna change this to retrograde. Woo! And we'll just track that as we come down. So we can go time warp. Woohoo! Yeah, it lowered it back down to 100 times for safety. Uh, unfortunately, we're coming down in the dark. We're not going to be able to see much. And uh, there's no re-entry effects yet. So it's kind of weird to watch it coming down like that. I'm going to go ahead and arm the chutes. There go the chutes. Or they shoot, I guess. It's only one. And then down there in the dark is an ocean. I really should have done a daylight landing, but we'll do another quick launch. I want to see if I can get into uh, orbit with a little bit of redesign on the rocket. Whee! And then we have a splashdown. And we're going to sink. So that's, that's fun. But uh, we can just hit escape and we go to recover vessel. Burn. Gives you all the stats there. Practice makes perfect. And you can see there's tutorials. There's a training center where you act, it actually just simulates so you don't actually lose crew when you're learning. That's cool. And then uh, let's just go to close that and we're gonna go back to the space center. Um, sure way it's, I guess I warped quite a ways, didn't I? Whoa! That was a lot more warping than I wanted. <laughs> that was pretty crazy. There we go. There's some daylight again. Takes a little while for the time warp to slow back down. All right, let's hop back over to the VAB. And let's make some changes to our rocket here. Oh, it doesn't load it up again. Okay. So I guess you can save it by workspace and notice that. All right, we can move you off. Move you up a little bit. So this, this gets us into orbit just fine, you know, up there, but I want a little bit on here so let's go to fuel tanks and it's nice it's organized by size you can see small medium etc so let's grab just a little fuel tank and then let's go to our engines and i think is it it's the terrier I'm trying to remember which one we want for the uh impacts here in vacuum 60 yeah, let's go for that guy. And then we'll get a coupler. That's what it's called. I called it like separation ring, I think. <laughs> it's a coupler. There we go. We'll have that guy. And let's get some parachutes. And we can just go for the extra small. I think these are the yeah, radial mount. And we can hit X, just like an old version the symmetry mode so let's put a couple parachutes on that and yeah let's see if that'll do it that'll get me up to space oh, let's turn the symmetry mode back off and then hopefully back down again as well so let's double check our staging so I'd rather have the, yeah, that's, that's all wrong. I want you up there. 
we can get rid of that one. So we release the clamps and then we fire that engine. I want this engine to be up there. One thing I haven't figured out, I need to check the tutorial maybe, is how to change the order within a stage. But maybe it doesn't matter. Like I, I'd rather have the decouple ring fire and then the engine. I haven't figured that part out yet. All right, so it's going to release the docking clamps, fire the main engine. The next stage, no, we want these guys. This up there. I'm just going to uncouple, arm those chutes, fire this engine. Next stage. All right, we want another stage. Put this parachute up there. There we go. Decouple, arm those parachutes. But like, that looks good. And uh, let's change this to the skipper two. Save. New workspace. Oh, okay. I didn't see that. No, I don't want to overwrite that. Uh, new workspace two. Sure. There we go. Because I believe you can actually have multiple vehicles. Like you can, if you're building a big multi-part space station or something. You can have multiple vehicles in the same workspace. It's a new feature. All right, so let's double check this one more time. We're going to release, fire main engines, and then we uncouple, arm the chutes, fire that engine. We uncouple, arm the chutes. Got our last. All right, let's go for launch. See if we can get in orbit. And we'll just skip the countdown this time. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, we got Valentina. I didn't notice we had a different Kerman this time. Didn't even check that. We're going to start our gravity turn here a little earlier. Rapidly accelerating. Been quite a while since I played any Kerbal Space Program, so I'm a little rusty. But uh, we're up here in the... Approaching the upper atmosphere. A mid-range, so we're just going to keep easing on over. To the side here. Check our map. A little bit for it to update. Yeah, we want to be tilt tilting over quite a bit now. Actually kill that for a bit. Alright, that's looking pretty good. Uh, where is our... Oh, here it is. All the Apo apps and Para apps is down here. All right, let's warp a little bit. I want to try to flatten out this orbit if I can. Let's go back to that. And I think the maneuver nobs have changed a little bit. Uh, create maneuver plan. Oh, it tells you when you it tells you you're not gonna have enough fuel. Okay, that's cool. Boop. All right, so we'll just use our remaining fuel. And let's get that set to prograde. So burn timer, start burn in, stop burning. Okay, cool. Uh, 
Oh, let's set that to maneuver, actually. I'm not sure what that was all about. So it's got a required delta V, and then it says start burn. That's cool. Uh, I wonder if there's any kind of automatic burn, or if you just have to hit it by hand. I assume we just have to hit it by hand. And go. And it tells us to stop the burn. Of course, we're going to run out of fuel in this main stage, which is fine. There we go. Burn with this guy. I want some fuel left though, because we want to be able to deorbit. So we'll keep an eye on that. That has that has a red mark by it, so we may not have enough here. Like I said, I'm a little rusty. And I didn't check any of my numbers, I just went for it. That's not ideal for a space exploration. Close to that. I want to have a little bit of fuel left. Hey! We got to... We got to orbit. Something changed. Our view changed. Alright, we've got just a little bit of fuel left. Hopefully that's enough to get us out of orbit. Uh, how do I, oops, how do I delete this thing? Push the delete key. Flight control's now in docking mode. Nope, that's not what I wanted. All right, let's go back to regular stability. I actually want to go retrograde. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure how to delete that. That's okay. So here we are in orbit. Oh, here it is. It's got the delete thingy there. We're in orbit around. Uh, is it Kerman? I forget the name of the planet. No, there it is. Kerbal. Kerbin. We're in the Kerbal system around Kerbin. In Skipper 2 5. Time for another F12. I didn't see in the controls anywhere where you could change that. I think it's just a built-in. But maybe I missed it. All right, so let's let's time warp around once. Wee. Does look good. Like I said the performance is is pretty bad, but it only gets worse the more stuff you add. This is a pretty small, simple ship. But it does look really well. It does look really good. Uh, so it doesn't do maneuver stuff in time work. Now, what's weird is the nozzle here was moving. Should have just been using the reaction wheel, but Valentine is having a good time. Um, is it still F5 for a quick save? It made a noise. I think it quick saved. Let's uh, let's EVA. There we go. Floating high above space. <laughs> Some more screenshots. All right, let's let's hop back in before something bad happens. And uh, let's go ahead and deorbit. So we're uh, holding retrograde. I'm just gonna fire. A remaining fuel and we'll see where that's going to put us there we go get up the map here oh boy <laughs> uh what's our peri apps oh yeah we're fine five thousand so we're gonna maybe skip off the atmosphere hopefully not Wee. Okay, so it's going to a lower time warp for safety. That's fine. Uh, let's go ahead and jettison this stage. And I'm going to go ahead and hold retrograde. 
Even though there's no effects. I don't know if there's actually heating. There's no visual effects. I don't know if there is heating or not. I'm hoping that will eventually uh, deorbit. So we're going to warp on down. I'm going to keep an eye on our altitude there. Oh, there's a pause there. That's cool. Watch it not hit spacebar to try to pause like a lot of games. Spacebar is the uh, staging. Yeah, I know we're out of fuel. Okay, we're back down to ground mode. Coming in hot over the clouds here. Normally there would be some fire flying up around here. Valentina's having a great old time. <laughs> there we go. Our speed's dropping off rapidly. We start to plummet towards the ground or the ocean. All right, I'm going to go ahead and arm the chutes. Oh, look at that. Look at those clouds. Let's get a little chunky in here for some reason. Doesn't look quite as good as normal, but again, it's really access. All right, we're going to go back to yeah, stability on. I'm going to turn off SAS. Head down towards the ocean. The water looks pretty good, but something weird I noticed is the foam like doesn't move with the water. So yeah, it's a little. A little disorienting. Nice detail on the capsule, though. We got the little doors there for the parachute. See Valentina in there. Her helmet's wiggling around. Uh, I'm not sure this thing floats that well. It seems to kind of just hover under the ocean. You can see we've got uh, we've got actual waves. That's kind of cool. Uh, so yeah, let's let's recover her. Guess that doesn't. Do it. Let's recover her before the water fills the capsule. <laughs> and confirm that recovery. And let's go to the tracking station. And then if we look at debris, uh, so it says we have a bunch of debris in orbit. And I haven't figured out like how to. Oh, there we go. That kind of zooms to it, I guess. This sh this stuff should eventually come down, I would think. Or maybe it is in the ground. Maybe it has come down to the ground. I can't tell for sure, but anyway, that's the the little pieces. Hit escape and go back to the space center. So I think that'll be it for this video. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Have you been playing the uh, KSP2? Or are you looking forward to it? Uh, so we got launch pads. I should point out we have multiple launch pads. So someday this will be multiplayer. You have all kinds of Kerbals blasting off into space. So we've got the training center. Like I said, you can simulate flights. Tracking station. Vehicle assembly, and then somewhere. With the, like, airplane. Maybe you do, oh, I guess you do both in the VAB now, because it's got access to the runways. Runway one is clear. No, we don't want to launch anything. I don't, didn't get into uh, to airplanes. But anyway, that'll be it for this one. Thanks, as always, for watching, folks. I'll catch you in the next adventure. Take care.